From tomorrow, kids aged between 5 and 11 will be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. Many families are hoping their kids can at least get their first dose before school returns. Let's get more on this. We're joined now by Associate Professor Margie Danchen, who's an immunisation expert and paediatrician at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute. Good morning to you, Margie. Great to have you on the program again. What difference will it make to have this age group of 5 to 11 vaccinated? Oh, look, good morning. It's such good news to be able to expand the program now to 5 to 11-year-olds. We've all been waiting for this. And to be able to offer the vaccine tomorrow, I think, is such good news for parents. So the kids between 5 and 11 will actually be given a smaller dose of the vaccine than the adult dose. Why is that? Yeah, that's right. So children will be offered a 10 microgram dose as opposed to a 30 microgram dose. And that's because the dose of the vaccine in younger children um, sort of uh, in this age group works as well by using a smaller dose or one third of the dose so it's based on age mm -hmm. so that doesn't impact the how effective the vaccine for the, is for these kids no not at all in fact in the clinical trial uh, one third of the dose had as strong um, an immune response as for the older teens and adolescents. Mm. There's also a longer interval between the first and the second dose. What's the thinking behind that? Yeah, that's right. So um, in the US, they have recommended a three week interval between the first and the second dose. But in Canada and Australia, we're recommending an eight week interval. And that's mainly because we think it will provide a longer and more robust um, immune protection for children and also have a reduced risk for myocarditis in this age group. Mm. So in that eight-week interval between the first and the second dose, will those kids be less covered and, and by how much? Uh, so... Um, in terms of the amount of protection that one dose of the vaccine will give against the Omicron variant for primary school age children, there's data now from the US and the UK that seem to suggest that it will provide over 80% protection against hospitalisation for primary school kids, which is really good news because we know that children are only going to get one dose in really before the start of the school year. What sort of processes have been undertaken to make sure that this vaccine is safe between 5 and 11 year olds? So the Pfizer vaccine clinical trial um, has been tested in over 2,000 children um, and it's now been obviously given to millions of children in the US and in Canada. So there is um, vaccine safety data from the clinical trial that shows that the common and expected side effects do not occur um, more commonly than in the older kids. And from the real world data now, as I said, from the US and Canada, a vaccine safety signal for myocarditis has not been detected. And of course, there will be continuing ongoing monitoring, sort of real world monitoring. Mm. So at the moment, the vaccine looks extremely effective, over 90% effective against um, clinical infection in children. And it looks to be very um, safe as well. And, you know, that is really important for us to reassure for parents. Um, there's also recent data showing that the risk of myocarditis in this age group is about one-tenth of um, the risk that we've seen in teenagers and is estimated to be around about four cases of myocarditis per million doses of vaccine. Mm. So, you know, people have been looking for that data and waiting for that data. So I think we really need to reassure parents that it is safe and it is effective. What will this vaccination rollout for this age group mean for the return to school? Because, of course, we've seen just in, as this, uh, this year gets underway, some daycare and childcare centres have to close because of outbreaks. What are you expecting to see for the return to school? Yeah, so this is the critical question. We know that there is three weeks now before the start of the school year. And we completely understand that parents are very worried about sending their children back into the school setting at the moment with Omicron um, just so freely circulating in the community and so many cases. But I think it's critical that we focus the conversation on 
establishing a really good national school plan for schools um, and really strengthening the school environment with multi-layered strategies so that we can protect kids. And what I mean by that is ensuring that teachers have had um, their booster dose, um, that we really strongly address ventilation in the school setting. We use HEPA filters, CO2 monitors, open windows, try and encourage outdoor learning that children are really mandated to wear masks where possible. We know some kids can't, but in the majority, kids can and do wear masks. Um, we need to really ramp up vaccination in the next three weeks. Um, we know that booking has opened, encourage parents to get their children vaccinated. And also, very importantly, we need testing in the school setting. We need rapid antigen testing to be available. We know that there's a shortage of testing at the moment, but we need to be uh, able to monitor for asymptomatic cases, so twice weekly rapid antigen testing, for example, the test to stay strategy, so that we can identify cases in the school setting and reduce transmission and optimise face-to-face learning. So, you know, I feel really, really strongly that we need to be doing everything we can in the next three weeks to prepare schools, to ramp up vaccination, to focus on getting kids back into the classroom and making this year a year where we focus on children rather than stepping immediately back to the default position that we should close schools. Mm. And just finally, Margie, this is for five to 11 year olds. What about those under five? What can we expect to see on the vaccination front for those young kids? Yeah, and I should say that, of course, we are very concerned about children in the early childhood education setting. We are putting just as much focus on, you know, kindergartens and childcare centres. We understand, again, that staff and parents are very concerned about children under the age of five. The Pfizer vaccine is being trialled in children between six months and five years. Unfortunately, we don't have that clinical trial data yet showing safety and effectiveness in this age group. So again, we really need to make sure that all the multi-layered strategies are in place in the early childhood setting, ensuring that staff are triple vaccinated, they've had their boosters, again, focusing on ventilation, outdoor learning, outdoor play as much as possible, and all of the things we can do to keep um, younger children safe as well. And, you know, we really do anticipate that we will have a safe and effective vaccine for them um, in the next few months. No one can say when, really. Right, Associate Professor Margie Danchen from the Murdoch Children's Research Institute, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thanks for having me.